twelfth day of abide in christ by andrew murray this librivox recording is in the public domain recording by christopher smith god himself will stablish you in him he which stablisheth us with you in christ is god second corinthians chapter one verse twenty one these words of paul teach us a much needed and most blessed truth that just as our first being united with christ was the work of divine omnipotence so we may look to the father too for being kept and being fixed more firmly in him the lord will perfect that which concerneth me this expression of confidence should ever accompany the prayer forsake not the work of thine own hands in all his belongings and prayers to attain a deeper and more perfect abiding in christ the believer must hold fast his confidence he which hath begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of jesus christ there is nothing that will so help to root and ground him in christ as this faith he which establisheth us in christ is god how many there are who could witness that this faith is just what they need they continually mourn over the variableness of their spiritual life sometimes there are hours and days of deep earnestness and even of blessed experience of the grace of god but how little is needed to mar their peace to bring a cloud over the soul and then how their faith is shaken all efforts to regain their standing appear utterly fruitless and neither solemn vows nor watching and prayer avail to restore to them the peace they for a while had tasted could they but understand how just their own efforts are the cause of their failure because it is god alone who can establish us in christ jesus they would see that just as in justification they had to cease from their own working and to accept in faith the promise that god would give them life in christ so now in the matter of their sanctification their first need is to cease from striving themselves to establish the connection with christ more firmly and to allow god to do it god is faithful by whom ye were called unto the fellowship of his son jesus christ what they need is the simple faith that the establishing in christ day by day is god's work a work that he delights to do in spite of all our weakness and unfaithfulness if we will but trust him for it to the blessedness of such a faith and the experience it brings many can testify what peace and rest to know that there is a husbandman who cares for the branch to see that it grows stronger and that its union with the vine becomes more perfect who watches over every hindrance and danger who supplies every needed aid what peace and rest fully and finally to give up our abiding into the care of god and never have a wish or thought never to offer a prayer or engage in an exercise connected with it without first having the glad remembrance that what we do is only the manifestation of what god is doing in us the establishing in christ is his work he accomplishes it by stirring us to watch and wait and work but this he can do with power only as we cease interrupting him by our self-working as we accept in faith the dependent posture which honours him and opens the heart to let him work how such a faith frees the soul from care and responsibility in the midst of the rush and bustle of the world's stirring life amid the subtle and ceaseless temptations of sin amid all the daily cares and trials that so easily distract and lead to failure how blessed it would be to be an established christian always abiding in christ how blessed even to have the faith that one can surely become it that the attainment is within our reach dear believer the blessing is indeed within your reach he that establisheth you with us in christ is god what i want you to take in is this that believing this promise will not only give you comfort but will be the means of your obtaining your desire you know how scripture teaches us that in all god's leadings of his people faith has everywhere been the one condition of the manifestation of his power 
faith is the ceasing from all nature's efforts and all other dependence faith is confessed helplessness casting itself upon god's promise and claiming its fulfilment faith is the putting ourselves quietly into god's hands for him to do his work what you and i need now is to take time until this truth stands out before us in all its spiritual brightness it is god almighty god the faithful and gracious one who has undertaken to establish me in christ jesus listen to what the word teaches you the lord shall establish thee an holy people unto himself o lord god establish their heart unto thee thy god loved israel to establish them for ever thou wilt establish the heart of the humble now to him that is of power to establish you be glory for ever to the end he may establish your hearts unblameable in holiness the lord is faithful who shall establish you and keep you from all evil the god of all grace who hath called us in christ jesus make you perfect establish strengthen settle you can you take these words to mean anything less than that you too however fitful your spiritual life has hitherto been however unfavorable your natural character or your circumstances may appear can be established in christ jesus can become an established christian let us but take time to listen in simple childlike teachableness to these words as the truth of god and the confidence will come as surely as i am in christ i shall also day by day be established in him the lesson appears so simple and yet the most of us take so long to learn it the chief reason is that the grace the promise offers is so large so godlike so beyond all our thoughts that we do not take it really to mean what it says the believer who has once come to see and accept what it brings can bear witness to the wonderful change there comes over the spiritual life hitherto he had taken charge of his own welfare now he has a god to take charge of it he now knows himself to be in the school of god a teacher who plans the whole course of study for each of his pupils with infinite wisdom and delights to have them come daily for the lessons he has to give all he asks is to feel himself constantly in god's hands and to follow his guidance neither lagging behind nor going before remembering that it is god who worketh both to will and to do he sees his only safety to be in yielding himself to god's working he lays aside all anxiety about his inner life and its growth because the father is the husbandman under whose wise and watchful care each plant is well secured he knows that there is the prospect of a most blessed life of strength and fruitfulness to every one who will take god alone and wholly as his hope believer you cannot but admit that such a life of trust must be a most blessed one you say perhaps that there are times when you do with your whole heart consent to this way of living and do wholly abandon the care of your inner life to your father but somehow it does not last you forget again and instead of beginning each morning with the joyous transference of all the needs and cares of your spiritual life to the father's charge you again feel anxious and burdened and helpless is it not perhaps my brother because you have not committed to the father's care this matter of daily remembering to renew your entire surrender memory is one of the highest powers in our nature by it day is linked to day the unity of life through all our years is kept up and we know that we are still ourselves in the spiritual life recollection is of infinite value for the sanctifying of our memory in the service of our spiritual life god has provided most beautifully the holy spirit is the remembrancer the spirit of recollection jesus said he shall bring all things to your remembrance he which establisheth us with you in christ is god who hath also sealed us and given the earnest of the spirit in our hearts it is just for the establishing that the holy remembrancer has been given 
god's blessed promises and your unceasing acts of faith and surrender accepting of them he will enable you to remember these each day the holy spirit is blessed be god the memory of the new man apply this to the promise of the text he that establisheth us in christ is god as you now at this moment abandon all anxiety about your growth and progress to the god who has undertaken to establish you in the vine and feel what a joy it is to know that god alone has charge ask and trust him by the holy spirit ever to remind you of this your blessed relation to him he will do it and with each new morning your faith may grow stronger and brighter i have a god to see that each day i become more firmly united to christ and now beloved fellow believer the god of all grace who hath called us in christ jesus make you perfect establish strengthen settle you what more can you desire expect it confidently ask it fervently count on god to do his work and learn in faith to sing the song the notes of which each new experience will make deeper and sweeter now to him that is of power to establish you be glory for ever amen yes glory to god who has undertaken to establish us in christ end of twelfth day